The opening of this video is a little longer than I originally anticipated, so if you look in the description below, the start time for the reaction will be the first thing that I list so that you can get right to the reaction if you don't feel like listening to me ramble on. What's going on, Squirrel Squad? It's your boy, the squirrel, and uh, I'm starting to peek out of the woods. It's been nine nine long days since i've uh even sat in front of this computer to do anything um i've been laid up pretty well pretty sick um feeling good enough to record so that's what i'm gonna do i do have some stuff that i recorded actually the night that i got covid um and uh a couple of them i've already deleted i was you could tell i was so sick during them uh it, it was horrible um but some of them it, it hit me literally in the middle of recording like six videos so like a couple of them were fine um two of them i had edited earlier uh that uh, later that night earlier in the week or nine days ago uh and they both got hard blocked one was a music video on the other side of squirrel and one was kevin bridges uh the hilarious sleepover routine which got blocked uh worldwide and then uh immediate refusal uh when i asked for release so That'll go in the uh, save for some time down the road, wherever I decide to put it folder. And, uh, yeah, that was really funny, too. But I do have some other small little things that I've uh, looked through. I have, like, this little, like, rainy day folder. And I really thought I was going to feed off of that. Um, but I just even, I haven't even been able to sit in front of the computer. So, sorry for the long intro. If you're new here, I'm uh, just getting over COVID. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm in the clear. Uh, it was really touch and go for a while there. It was pretty bad, but uh, I think I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be fine. Um, a little, I'm very cloudy in the head. My, I'm kind of loopy, weird, but I wanted to make sure that uh, I return to normal, normalcy. Um, I have to fight to be normal, and this is part of being normal. Is what I do every day. This with you. Gosh, I miss you guys. I miss you so much. I miss doing this. I miss it all. I'm going to give it a whirl. <laughs> hopefully it's Friday. And hopefully you're watching part six of The Worm That Turned. And you might even get a couple other little bits today. And there might even be a couple things on the other side of Squirrel. If I can get the... If I can maintain the energy to edit and load and do all that stuff I have to do, then we're going to at least get something. At least a video on one of the two channels. How's that? Here we go. The Worm That Turned, Part 6 of 8. I need a laugh. I need this. If it's your first time here, please consider subscribing. I'm usually a lot more energetic than this. <laughs> I think I'm going to put a video about my experience with COVID, just so people know, because like, there's so many, everyone, everyone's experience is different, you know? Um, and there was a big part of me being sick that I wasn't expecting. It was the mental side of it that was really... Um, eye-opening for me as to uh, uh, how this can affect people. So here we go. It's the worm of the turn, part six. England now languishes under a new reign of terror, a regime guaranteed to strike fear into the hearts of all men. The country has fallen into the hands of man's primeval enemy, woman. <laughs> Women now govern, they are the breadwinners. Men are completely subjugated. They are forced to do the housework, to wear frocks. They even have feminine names. And the dreaded secret police see that these new stringent measures are enforced. Our heroes in this tragic tale are two simple, honest, straightforward Englishmen, Janet and Betty. <laughs> Wanted by the secret police for crimes against the state, they were hiding out in an old cottage. When the area is surrounded, they have to find another method of breaking through the roadblock. That's right. <laughs> I forgot we ended on this. <laughs>
Say on the end of the blanket. <laughs> I was just thinking they're probably under the damn blanket. <laughs> she shoots the barrel. <laughs> nice. Funny. Good thing I brought this knife. Hmm. Yes, I was just looking at that. How many blades has it got? Twenty-seven. Hmm. I've had it since I was a brownie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The only thing that's broken is the thing that takes the stones out of horses who... Well, it's not broken, actually. It's bent. Oh. Melanie Harper did that at school. Oh, uh huh. Sat on it. <laughs> Duck Jack Melanie. Yeah, yeah. Thick skin. Mm. Wonder what he's doing now. He's an actress. Oh, oh yeah. Just played the lead in Harry Queen of Scots at the National. Oh. <laughs> now then, anything else you'd like to eat, old boy? Um, well, what is that? Well, there's some chocolate here. Oh, there's a Pars bar. Oh, I have that. I have a Pars bar here. <laughs> <laughs> we really must get organised if we're going to call... Mother... Pa yeah. Let my brother know. Don't you Mother think it's a mite dangerous? Oh, I mean, we're less than 30 miles from my cottage. The police are bound to be spreading out. If we're going to go to ground, it's our only hope. Yes. Are you sure this is the pub he works at? Sir? What, the green woman? Yes, yes, absolutely positive, yeah. It's a good pub. Brian and I used to come down and visit him sometimes at weekends. Not that she ever liked him, really. Oh, he's not her brother, then. And who knows, my sister's husband. Oh, uh, which sister's that? My younger sister, Harold. Then what's your brother-in-law's name? Diana. Oh. Uh, and he's bound to cycle down this road on his way to work? Yes, it's the only road. You see, the pub's about a quarter of a mile down there. Right, now then, I've got some uh, drawing pins, I've got some tin tacks, and I've got a few large fish hooks for good measure. Come on. we better get Springfield. How's that? Yes, that should do it. A bit drastic, don't you think? Wouldn't we have had to jump out of the bushes and wave at him? Oh, no, no, he wouldn't stop. He was once stopped on his way back from getting some groceries by uh, what he thought was a man. Turned out to be a woman in a dress. Good. Oh, it was terrible. Yes, she assaulted him. Came back with his frock all torn. <laughs> Fortunately, she never laid a finger on his groceries. <laughs> oh, no. Didn't work very good, did they? Hey, maybe they did. Now you miss Diana, man. What the heck? Good grief, Diana! Betty, good gracious, what are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm in a car, what happened to the bike? <laughs> I've been fiddling the housekeeping. But what are you doing here? No time to tell you now. Get in quick, Janet. Uh, look, I'll turn the car around and I'll tell you as you, you go. Right? Maybe turn the, 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 the car around that road. road. Luckily, there's a turnaround right there. Betty and Janet lose no time as they travel to tell Diana the whole story. 
He, in turn, informs our two heroes that the pub now belongs to him. And like the true blue old-fashioned chauvinist he is, offers them a job. And so, the very next night, in this sleepy little village, far from the madding crowd... Hey, you're a nice little thing. What are you doing in a dump like this, son? Just pin money. My wife's away in the Navy. Here, come and sit in my lap. Oh, I think there's room for both of us. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know my little grey home in the West? No. How about my little brown flat down the road? Yeah. <laughs> what about after the ball? Oh, I mean, after you finish here. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Excuse me. What's your name, my dear? Uh, Beryl, madam. Married? No, 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 no. Thought not. I can read men like a book. Oh, really? What system do you use? Braille. Oh. <laughs> oh. Really? Oh, Janet, uh, can you take an order in the other bar? Man in a green dress. <laughs> oh, it's all go round here, isn't it? Oh, God, that woman's going to start her patriotic songs again now. Busted girls who will all burn their bras to be free. Shoulders to shoulders. That's where I dress. With bosoms like boulders, come swing down the highway with me. Throw out your chest, girls. Dispense with your best girls. We're marching to make history. Men have always fooled us, and they rule us easily. Good morning, Betty. Pardon? I say good morning, Betty. No, no, my name is Beryl. Beryl Cambridge, ma'am. No, it's not. It's Betty Chalmers. We were at school together. You're captain of the netball team. Shh, not so loud. I used to see you when I was on my way back from cricket in your frilly netball skirt. I used to think you were the most wonderful creature on earth. But I was only 13, and you were 17. I'm sorry, I can't place you. No, well, a lot of water has flowed under the bridge since then. Yeah, quite a few gin and tonics as well. I doubt if I get into that netball skirt now. Still got that twinkle in your eye, though. Look, uh... Jack, you do know there's a big reward offered for your capture, do you? It's in all the papers. Uh-oh. Don't worry. I'm not going to give you away. What, then? I want to keep you for myself. What? I want to hide you. <laughs> I've got a nice little house a couple of miles from here. We could uh, renew old acquaintanceship. With no one to disturb us. But I never knew you. Well, I knew you in my dreams. Dreams? Well, what do you say? Well, I don't mind if you don't. <laughs> Can't wait. Pour me a gin and tonic, would you? Yes, yes, of course. <clears throat> How do you like it? Seven parts gin, one part tonic. <laughs> Seems about right. Slice of lemon. But I want a lemonade. I'll ask for one. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're wearing pyjamas. Mm. Won't you join me? What, in your pyjamas? Well, maybe you could start off in this. What's that? Oh. I see. That's pretty nice, isn't it? Why don't you try it on? Take a shower. Hurry back. Yes, all right. I'll tell you what. I'll take a shower and then try it on. <laughs> Even better. I say, it's jolly nice of you to hide me like this. Uh, did you think you'd be able to hide my friend Janet as well? You know, later on. Later on. Let's have a day or two to ourselves first, shall we? He'll understand. I mean, you did put that in your note, didn't you? A day or two, yes. Well, go on. You're wasting time. <laughs> uh oh. I knew it. Hello. State Police. I wish to speak to somebody about one of the missing men. Betty Chalmers. So Jack is up to no good after all. 
What will happen to Betty? Will the police send their special squad to get him? As he steps from the shower, will he be grabbed by the heavies? <laughs> next week in another extraordinary episode of The Worm That Turned. All right. Well, uh, what's going to happen to Betty? We have two pieces of this left. Damn it. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, what the hell is Ronnie Corbett? How does Ronnie... Barney Barker, man. You can't just leave Corbett in the... In the... On the... Whatever it is. In the wash, and the lamb, and the spritz, whatever. That was the worm that turned. Uh... Glad to be back on this series. Going to be finishing it out very soon. I will once I uh, get back to normal because I'm, I'm going to just do what I can now to get through and get you guys something here and there until I feel like I'm back to normal. And uh, we'll get back to some still game, things like that as well. I hope you guys are doing really, really well. If you find it in your heart, please share this out. It's going to take me a little while to get the algorithm back to me being posting videos again because I kind of slaughtered my channel by being sick. <laughs> But I hope you guys have a great day. I really enjoy being here, and I hope you enjoyed it too. I have so much love for all of you. So much respect to you. You guys are so great to me. Thank you so much for um, all the kind messages I've received. People who reached out and email, Instagram, Twitter, through the channel. You guys are awesome. Uh, I haven't been able to respond to any of them, really, just because I've been really, really sick. Um, but uh, I have read them. And I thank you guys. I really, really do. So be good, all right? God bless. Squirrel up.